I have a plan. Stop him. This kid is patient, he has extreme punching power, and he has speed and time and he is dynamic. You know, this kid is the Lightweight division is, is on fire. Everyone is showing up and showing out. What is on the line tonight? Great fight uh, for Devin. It's a great fight for Regis. Of course, it's a step up fight for Devin in the sense of it'll be his first fight at 140 pounds. Uh, something that uh, we look forward to uh, to add on to his uh, legacy as being uh, eventually uh, one of the best fighters to ever put on a pair of gloves. What kind of Devin Haney can we expect at 140 pounds? Because he's been on record saying 135 was starting to get hard. You might see some of that short dog shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. They might got to get ready for that. Jordan, short dog, white shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, but no, uh, Devin is a constant professional. Uh, he's involving. He, he gets the job done uh, no matter what. Uh, he makes that adjustment uh, in every adversity that he's put in, and uh, we don't expect anything else. Him becoming undisputed, it seems like he was the guy that was chasing everybody. He wanted all the smoke, and now he's the guy with a big target on his back. It seems like everybody wants a piece of Devin Haney. No, everybody wants to talk about him. That's not a target, because when you got a target, you do everything to get your mark. You know what I mean? Uh, we set our, our sights on being undisputed. Uh, we put a target on those that that were uh, roadblocks to Devin ultimately achieving the goal. Um, you know what I mean? And, and we executed. Uh, we also now have a warrant out for Mr. Bro Regis Progray that will be executed and Devin will be the two-time, uh, two-division world champion. Now Regis has been talking spicy, saying he'll knock Devin out. Devin's never seen anything like him before. not to talk spicy and he's from New Orleans. <laughs> Okay, so uh, I know you don't like to look past anybody, but is Devin's main main division going to be 140 because he still he still has three belts, quote unquote, at 135? Um, right now, as spicy as Mr. Progray is talking, um, we would be uh, we would be doing a disservice. I would be doing a disservice for Dev, a disservice to boxing, to overlook uh, Mr. Progray and what we have. Uh, coming up is an uh, opportunity to be a two-division world champ champion and look spectacular doing it. So, uh, you know, I'm not doing a bunch of concentrating on things and, and hypothetical things because we got something so big. I think the chances of Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez agreeing a deal are very slim. Um, and I believe Reach Progray is a fight that can be made. I know that Devin wants that fight. And we'll see what happens. I think it's a tremendous fight. It's a good fight for both. And I think it's it's a fight that can happen for him to try and become a champion at 140. And I believe Regis Progress can win that fight. You know, I, I think he's a great fight for him as well. So hopefully that's a fight that can get my Welcome to a special edition of Luxury Tainment Inside the Ring. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey that delves into the high stakes matchup between two boxing titans, Devin Haney and Regis Progray. Strap in as we unravel the story, analyze the advantages and disadvantages, and explore the intrigue that surrounds this potential blockbuster bout. Devin, the Dream Haney. The undisputed lightweight champion is no stranger to adversity. After a hard-fought victory over former unified champion Vasily Lomachenko, Haney's reputation has soared. But with two successful lightweight title defenses under his belt, rumors of a move-up in weight class are swirling. The question on everyone's minds, can Haney conquer new challenges in a higher division?
Ridges Ruguru Progre, a force to be reckoned with in the super lightweight division. With his recent defense of the WBC strap at 140 pounds, Progre exudes confidence and power. His journey since his 2019 defeat to Josh Taylor has been nothing short of remarkable, with four consecutive knockout victories showcasing his evolution. As the bigger man in this potential matchup, does Progre hold the upper hand? Regis Progre is a natural 140 pounder, smart, strong southpaw. The power's there, the style's there, the hunger's there. Progre's physical advantages could tip the scales in his favor. His power and size could potentially overwhelm Haney in a clash at a higher weight. Regis Progre told Luxurtainment, we agreed on a date, we agreed on everything, and now they're trying to move the date. Negotiations have become a battleground of their own. Progre takes to social media, expressing frustration over potential date changes. The stakes are high, and both fighters are determined to stand their ground. As the contract process unfolds, the tension mounts, revealing the fighters' dedication and the complexities behind finalizing a high profile matchup. But wait, there's another contender in the mix Shakur Stevenson. The WBC weighs in, adding another layer of intrigue. Stevenson, the mandatory challenger, is positioned to challenge for the vacant title. This twist sparks a debate about styles, strategies and the multitude of paths these fighters could take in the pursuit of championship glory. As the countdown to the potential bout begins, the excitement is palpable. Fans around the world are voicing their predictions and expectations. Promotional materials tease the electrifying showdown, promising hearts pounding action, tactical brilliance, and the unscripted drama that defines the world of professional boxing. Devin Haney remains undefeated as a professional. In his last fight, he beats Vasily Lomachenko on 20th of May 2023 by unanimous decision in the IBF World Lightweight, WBA Super World Lightweight, WBC World Lightweight and WBO World Lightweight Championship fights at MGM Grand, Las Vegas, United States. Previous to that, he had beat George Combosis on 16th of October 2022 by unanimous decision in the IBF World Lightweight, WBA Super World Lightweight, WBC World Lightweight and WBO World Lightweight Championship fights at Rod Laver Arena, Melbourne, Australia. Ridges Progre has won five of his most recent fights, stopping four of them going the distance once. In his last fight, he defeated Danielito Zorilla on 17th of June 2023 by split decision in the WBC World Super Lightweight Championship fight at Smoothie King Center, New Orleans, United States. Previous to that, he had defeated Jose Sabida on 26 November 2022 by technical knockout in the 11th round in the WBC World Super Lightweight Championship fights at Dignity Health Sports Park, Carson. Now let's look at both fighters' strengths and weaknesses. Devin Haney is known for his excellent technical skills, showcasing solid footwork, accuracy in his punches and the ability to control the distance in the ring. Haney has showcased a good defensive style, using his agility to evade punches and his reflexes to avoid getting hit cleanly. His jab is a potent weapon that he uses to set up his offense while also disrupting his opponent's rhythm. (music) 
Devin Haney's ring IQ is high, allowing him to adapt his game plan as the fight unfolds. He possesses fast hand speed and reflexes, allowing him to land quick combination and counter effectively. One criticism often levied against Haney is his lack of knockout power compared to some other fighters in his division. At times, Haney has been criticized for not being aggressive enough and not taking risks to finish fights. His physical strength might be a factor when facing opponents who can impose their size and power on him. Now let's look at Regis Progre. Progre is known for his punching power and his aggressive fighting style. He can overwhelm opponents with his combination of power shots. He excels in fighting on the inside, working the body and head effectively and wearing opponents down. Being a southpaw gives Progre an advantage as most fighters are more accustomed to facing orthodox opponents, allowing him to find openings in their defense. Progre has demonstrated a strong chin and resilience as seen in his ability to take shots and continue pressing forward. He sometimes leaves himself open due to his aggressive style, leaving opportunities for counter-attacks from opponents. Fighters with excellent footwork and movement can pose challenges for Progre as they can avoid his power shots and frustrate his offensive rhythm. His aggressive style might affect his endurance in the later rounds, making it important for him to pace himself against opponents who can weather his initial onslaught. We've embarked on a journey through the highs and lows, the complexities and the intrigue that define the path to this monumental showdown. While Devin Haney rises to the occasion in a new weight class, can Regis Progre continue his reign of dominance? As negotiations unfold and the pieces fall into place, we eagerly await a clash that could alter the course of boxing history. Thank you for joining us on this Luxutainment Inside the Ring special. Stay tuned for updates analysis and more as we edge closer to what could be a defining moment in the world of professional boxing. Until next time, keep your gloves up and your anticipation high. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment and have a fabulous day.